This is the end. Right, okay, so what you're saying, fellas, welcome back to another episode of Last Month This Happens. I hope you've all had a good month because uh, I, I, I haven't really. I got some really sad news this month. My favourite YouTubers, Extreme Games, that are dying. It's so sad we're never going to see videos like Ninja sent us fan mail or 24-hour box for Pennywise prison again. It's so sad that YouTube might as well just shut down at this point. Now, before I get a load of comments saying, oh, you're, you're, you're bullying people for dying now, I'm fairly positive they're not actually dying. So uh, let's just watch their video. We're quitting YouTube because we're dying, not clickbait. I've been fighting this kidney disease now for literally four years and it's finally got the best of me. I can't literally fight it anymore. I'm holding 16 kilos of fluid in my body. Right, okay, so this guy's got a kidney disease, which is, like, probably really serious. So, uh, let's see what this other guy's got that he's apparently dying from. We're both sick, and I'm gonna tell you guys now what's wrong with me. Every single day that I wake up, it's, like, just absolute vertigo. And if you guys don't know what vertigo is, it's, like, dizziness, you know? Vertigo? You can die from that? Like, I'm not discrediting his illness or whatever, but I'm about 99% sure you can't die from vertigo unless you get dizzy and fall off a roof or something. We're just... We're just broken. Guys, we want to say a serious thank you to every single person that's watched our videos. Seriously, all you guys out there, we love you so much. And we want you to know two things. First thing is we want to give back to you guys. Every single one of you, we're going to hold a huge giveaway right now. We're going to give away two iPhone Xs. Okay, so they're making a video about dying. Like, they've just explained how they're dying. Like, he's got a kidney disease. He's got a fatal case of vertigo. Like, you know, it's a very sad video so far. And then they just start doing an iPhone giveaway. Like, this is a really strange way to announce you're dying. All you got to do is literally like this video, turn on notifications on our channel, and subscribe. Hang on, if you're dying and quitting YouTube, why are you asking them to turn on notifications and subscribe? If you're really dying and quitting YouTube, it's not like you're going to be uploading much anymore. We're giving one last giveaway just because we seriously want to give back because we honestly love you all so much. That's the first thing. The second thing is we want you to know Jesus Christ loves you too. What? They're doing an iPhone giveaway to show that Jesus loves you. What on earth? Like, is it written in the New Testament, love thy neighbor as thyself and give away two iPhone Xs? Okay, so you may remember that about a month ago I made a video on this weird gummy bear Despacito mashup I found on the weird side of YouTube. Oh, and a little side note on that video. It's been claimed by the same people twice, even though I won the first appeal since the video was like clear fair use. I I've no idea how this is allowed to happen. And just to clarify by claimed by the same people. I don't mean the bloke that made this weird parody. I mean the actual people that own Despacito. Like at this very second, fucking Louis Fonzi is pocketing my ad revenue. But anyway, moving on from that, a few days ago, the same guy made a video called Message from Emulus from Gummy Panda, the Despacito artist formerly known as Gummy Bear. I I've no idea what that title even means, but I, I haven't seen this video yet, so I, I thought I'd call in Alex and we could give it a watch together. Right, okay, so um, you remember that video I did like a month ago about that uh, Gummy Bear a Despacito uh, thing we found. Yes, I do. Yeah, um, they responded. They responded? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet, so I thought I'd call you in to watch it with me. Why is there a mermaid? Just don't ask questions, Alex. I love how everything's just stopped in time. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Why are they all going around in unison? Exactly what part do you play in this? I don't know, Alex. There you <laughs> are. How long is this video? It is five minutes. Ah, oh, fucking great. <laughs> I kiss it. What? Oh, we just watched some fish make out. This is actually giving me a migraine. It's tripping me out, man. I just want to say that whatever animation bundle that that is creepy. <laughs> that is scary. No, I, I was going to compliment them. But I'm, I'm going to take it back. <laughs> this is just the bundle. same scene we saw earlier. We've still got another is two minutes Mr. left. That's, a, that's Larry. This is actually what goes on inside your head when you're making a video. <laughs> it's on repeat. I think they've done it just to waste our time. Like now on my deathbed, I'm gonna wish I could have a few minutes back. <laughs> but instead we'll be it's, watching this. He spent on this. <laughs> Message from Emulus in, in six, five, Oh, the four, suspense is killing three, me, Alex. Two, one. It's just the thumbnail. Gummy loves you. <laughs> it's the thumbnail. Was there a rescue team? To rescue my channel. God, Why would you put your name on that willingly? <laughs> I, I mean, what does he get out of people knowing that he made that? A job okay. at Pixar. <laughs> 
Okay, so as a lot of you will probably know, the YouTuber Joe Sug went on the UK TV show Strictly Come Dancing. And uh, like when any YouTuber goes on a TV show, the media has to try and ruin their life. And I'm not joking it. They will literally find the most minute thing and try and portray someone as something they're not. For example, you know that game where you use your finger and thumb to make a circle and if someone looks at it, you get to punch them? Well, uh, Joe Sog's circle game gesture on Strictly Calm Dancing is also a white power symbol. Like, why was this article necessary? Like, even in the article, it says there is no suggestion that Joe used the symbol as a sign for white supremacy. Like, I think it's fairly obvious to anyone with a brain stem that Joe just did it as, like, the game where you punch someone if they look at it. Like, genuinely, I've never seen a more pointless news article in my life. And I think I'm being generous by calling this a news article. Oh, he's playing Fortnite. Okay, so a few days ago, the video, do not call Memeless at 3am. OMG, he actually answered was uploaded because uh, apparently these videos are still a thing. No, this is Memeless right now, guys. And we're going to call him. I mean, it's not like you can just set your name to any name on Discord. Also, <laughs> he hasn't even spelt Memeless, right? Yeah, right, it's ringing, it's ringing. He's on. Is this Memeless? Wait, how'd you get my number? I mean, he, he didn't even call for a phone number. He called on Discord. Now, this next bit is a bit of a cautionary tale as to why you should never speak to me at 3am. Because as we all know from previous videos, 3am is like the, the evil hour. And for me, at 3am, I, I just turn into a massive dickhead. Whoa. What, bro? You meant to like your fans. I hate them all. Now, at, at no other time does this happen. At 2.59, I'm fine. At 3.01, I'm fine. But 3 a.m., I, I just hate everyone and everything. So yeah, the moral of the story is uh, don't call meme loose on Discord at 3 a.m. Plastic Sainsbury's Tunnel voted Cornish Town's best tourist attraction. And th this is 100% true. <laughs> now I think it's dropped to about fourth, but still, like, imagine a plastic tunnel being your town's fourth best attraction. So anyway, I, I thought we'd have a look at some of the reviews on it. Visitors early one evening with the family. Kids love running up and down the tunnel, singing and dancing whilst me and the wife strolled slowly through, taking in the scenery and stunning architecture. My advice, get in before they start charging. This person just described it as a romantic break. And then there was John here who I, I I don't think got the joke. He says, nothing to get excited about. What is this all about? I think it must be a publicity stunt. It's just a clear plastic tunnel from the Sainsbury's car park to the store. Well, John, I'm sorry, but you're just wrong. <laughs> Right, so if you somehow haven't heard already, the, the EU decided to piss off about 99% of the world's population. And they decided to pass two new sort of like copyright laws called Article 11 and Article 13. Now, the main one we're going to be looking at is Article 13 because that's the one that's considered the meme ban. And basically, what the article says is that any website that hosts large amounts of user-generated content like uh, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook are responsible for taking down content if it infringes copyright. Now, this may sound all well and good, but th this could have extremely bad content consequences, not for only people in Europe, but for people all over the world. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into it because most of you probably don't give a shit, but this could be bad, okay? Like, say you upload a meme onto Twitter and that meme includes a picture of like, uh, I don't know, Spongebob or something. It could automatically get pulled from the site by a bot. So the big question everyone all over the world is asking, what does this mean for the Memeulous YouTube channel? And in all honesty, I, 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 I have no idea. From what I can tell, fair use of fair dealing laws are still going to be a thing since they're laws that also apply outside of the internet. But I've seen some sort to say this isn't really going to affect YouTube since content ID is a thing. And I've seen others say things like this is the end of everything on the internet ever. And I mean, I, I hope it doesn't really affect things on here because um, everything on YouTube already seems to work well in favor of copyright holders. Like content ID is already the bane of my life. So I don't think we need anything stronger. Like I can literally have two seconds of a song faintly playing in the background of a video I'm looking at and fucking UMG will take all the money from that video. So I mean, from my perspective, they already seem to be pretty happy with the tools in place. So I, I don't really see why YouTube YouTube would need to change, but this still isn't really a good thing. Like, think about all the other social media sites. As I said, you could upload, like, almost any meme, and it could just get taken down immediately, even though it falls under fair use. Now, from what I can tell that this thing hasn't actually gone through yet, pretty sure there's a final vote in January, but if this goes through, the internet could become pretty boring. Didn't it, yeah? Okay, now, final topic of today's video, and uh, seeing this was probably one of the highlights of my month. Police in Surrey have been trying to learn, like, slang and stuff, and to help out with that, there's uh, <laughs> this whiteboard here. And the first thing on the board is Beef Ting Fam, and then we've got obvious other things like Roseman and, uh, 
ting. But one of my favourites is uh, how they describe Stormzy. And the way they describe him is not the <laughs> not the weather. <laughs> right, but anyway, guys, that is the end of today's video. And I hope you did enjoy. I, I know this episode, the last part of this happened, is a, a tiny bit late. Usually I do them within the first, like, one to four days of the month starting. But anyway, let's see if we can get this video to 70,000 likes. And yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button.